Today we're going to be taking a look at and also showing you how to install the Optronics Rectangular LED Trailer Clearance Light. This is designed as a side marker light, also has a reflector built in. Part number is MCL44RB1. Now here's what your light's going to look like installed. As you can see, it's got a nice clean look to it. The six LEDs are going to give you plenty of brightness. Even during the daylight, you can really see it shines out well. That's what I like about the LEDs. They seem to give you that really clean, really bright light as compared to the incandescent. Also, these tend to last a whole lot longer. The LEDs we don't tend to replace nearly as often as we do with the incandescents. And they won't draw as much power through your vehicle's lighting system. The LEDs require a lot less power to get that brightness factor. So all in all, it can be a really nice way to change out an old light or upgrade the overall look of your trailer. The light also acts almost as a combination system for you. Of course, it's gonna give you your side marker or your clearance light. But with the built-in reflectors, it's going to meet the DOT compliance standards there as well. So there's no need for a separate reflector. It's going to be built right in for you. A couple other things to note to make sure it's going to work for your application. From end to end on our light, it's going to be about four inches. Height-wise, or from the bottom edge to the top edge, it's about an inch and a half. And it's going to come off the surface of your trailer here to the front about 15 16 of an inch, so just under an inch. The mounting holes are on three inch centers. That's going to be pretty typical with these side marker lights. It'll just bolt right up. You won't have to worry about creating new holes. And if for some reason you were to bump into the lens here and crack it, that is replaceable. And of course the light is going to be water resistant. That way we won't have to worry about dust and moisture getting inside there causing us headaches down the road. So whether you've got a busted lens like what we have, maybe the light's burned out, or you just want to upgrade to LEDs, you can see this is going to be a really good solution. It's more rectangular than the traditional oval style, so I think it'll give you a nice look. And to get that installed, you will need to remove your old light. Now these have eight point screws in them. So a Torx bit really doesn't work well in here. What we found is if, if you don't have the eight point or the double square bit, you can use a single square bit. You can see that'll help us get those right out of there. And you're likely to have a wire attached there, of course. So I'm gonna trim that and get this one out of the way. As you can see with our wire, we don't have a whole lot of slack here. When you do light replacements, you're going to run into that quite often. So we need to get this extended. We're going to use a heat shrink butt connector, part number DW05744. And we're also going to use a short length of wire here. 16 gauge will be what typical trailer wiring is going to be. You can get that on our website as part number 16-1-1. Now, depending on your application, you may have to open your hole up a little bit there. You see ours had a pretty narrow hole, so we're going to kind of expand that so we can get our butt connector to slide through. Right, so then we'll just strip the end of that back. Then we get our connector slid on there. Maybe get it to crimp down. Pull on it, make sure you got a good connection there. Then we can add our little extension wire. Not going to need a long piece here not going that far and generally you're not going to need that much wire to make repairs down the road if you have any kind of issues. Then we're going to use a heat source to shrink that down. When it gets all the way shrunk down it almost looks like the wire magnifies. You see a little clear gel come out of the end there. We'll just push that on in. That'll give us plenty of slack to work with. Now we want to strip back the end of this wire. To that, we'll add another one of our butt connectors. You can use regular butt connectors if you want, but I think the heat shrink is going to give you superior corrosion resistance. You won't have to worry about moisture and stuff getting in. Now we'll get our light here. We're going to pop the cover off of it. You see there's a little seam here. You just kind of Get a screwdriver or soft piece of plastic material in there. We'll pop that off. That'll give us access to the inside. You see our little ground wire here? I'm pulling this back in. I'm going to use that. 
put one of our screws through that will secure the light to the trailer so we can get our ground there. The other one we're going to strip back and we'll add that to the butt connector. Then we can shrink this one down the same way. Put in, we can tuck our excess in there. Light lined up, I'm going to secure it in the front side first. I'll secure the back side here, and you notice I'm putting that ring terminal over the screw. Just be easy with it, you don't want to damage that terminal. We can take our lens, you can see the reflectors in there. We'll pop that on. All right, let's test it out. And that's going to complete our look at the Optronics Rectangular LED Trailer Clearance and Side Marker Light, part number MCL44RB1.